So today it's all about making sure that when you get healthcare, your provider submits a claim, or submits the bill to your health insurance company. And I wanna point out a uh, section of the Ohio Revised Code, it's 1751.60. And this law uh, requires your healthcare providers to bill your health insurance in certain situations. And the law pertains to care uh, when the provider, the hospital, your doctor had a contract with the health insurance company to provide care. Um, and basically under this law, it requires the hospital, the healthcare provider to, to bill your health insurance. Uh, there are a few exceptions, for instance, uh, that deductibles or co-pays or if it's not a covered service under the health insurance policy. Um, but ultimately, it, the law requires, with those few exceptions, the provider to bill health insurance. And there's a case in Ohio, I forget what it is, basically seemed to indicate that the purpose of this law is to make sure people who have health insurance realize the benefits of that health insurance. Now, why would a provider not want to bill the health insurance company? Well, provider bills health insurance. Health insurance is going to have a contractual write-off, and then it's going to pay the provider a fraction of what was actually billed. So there may be instances when if the provider can avoid health insurance, they might get paid the actual full amount of what the bill is. For instance, in like a personal injury case, if the provider knows that there's a personal injury settlement forthcoming, they may try to hold out and try to collect from that settlement because uh, the hope from their perspective would be get paid in full from the settlement rather than the fraction of what was billed from health insurance. So what can you do if the provider isn't going to bill health insurance? Well, I think there's two things you can do. One, you can submit the bill directly to your health insurance provider and there will no doubt be a limited time for you to submit a claim under your health insurance, so you'd have to do this right away. You don't want to delay because if you uh, submit a bill outside of that time period, you're going to be out of luck. Um, the other option would be to send a letter to the healthcare provider with your health insurance info uh, directing the provider to submit the claim to health insurance. Um, no matter what way you would handle this, you want to make sure it's all in writing. Make photocopies so there's a paper trail so if you ever had to prove uh, anything, you'd have that physical evidence. And I would suggest sending uh, documents to whether it be to the provider or to the health insurance. You want to send it certified mail or express or FedEx or UPS, some way that the, you can track the mail and prove that, hey, it was delivered X date, um, yeah. basically anything to support uh, you taking the action to get that bill submitted to health insurance. You want to have some sort of tangible physical evidence to prove that. Um, I should note that this law only pertains to your provider billing health insurance. And the law says under no circumstances can the provider bill the actual patient. This doesn't pertain to other health or other insurance companies. So the provider say, or say someone is injured in an auto accident and under their auto insurance, they have medical payments coverage. This law wouldn't prohibit the provider from billing the medical payments coverage if the provider found out that was available. So the law prohibits the provider from collecting directly from the patient themselves, not other insurance. So that's one important thing to point out, but the real message here is you know, when you have some health care and you have health insurance, make sure that provider bills your health insurance company.